Hey guys, welcome back to The Game Replay, I'm Dave the Usher, the game we're playing is Firewatch for the Sony PlayStation 4, and yeah, right after I wrapped it up, I was able to get down, kind of like through, right, right through there. <laughs> so that was kind of funny, I don't think I should be able to get up there. Game glitches are fun, it's fun finding that stuff, you know. It's probably kind of a standard one, you know, like uh, nothing too crazy, ooh, that is... Totally, um, ooh, a Kodak moment. Let's, uh, take a pick. Yeah, that's a good one, man. You gotta take a pick of that one. Look at this big tree! There's gotta be something said about, yeah, the big tree. Map updated! Yeah! Hmm. Oh, right. We are undercover, kind of, right now. You know? Hmm. Well, it doesn't really matter that... I wonder what's up with that. Let's walk in the water just because, right? Let's get our shoes wet. Who does that? Walk, like, walk on the land and keep your... your socks dry and your shoes dry. What are you thinking? So, wait, why are we, yeah, we're supposed to go to the Cottonwood Creek, but why? Uh, I'm here at Cottonwood Creek. You see the cash box there? Uh, it must be around here somewhere. It is. Find it and open it. I changed the code. It's 5678. Are you kidding me? I was in a rush. Oh, beautiful. 308. Is this our last uh, cash box, or are there more? I wonder. Okay, let's do this now. Five, six, seven, eight. Of course. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. No, but this is perfect. So, even if someone's listening to us, like we just got that. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna beat whoever is listening, uh, them, to this, and then maybe she left me a note or a clue or something. Uh, okay, found the cash box. Great, open it. Hmm. That's yeah, just open. Radio uh, symbol was there. Five, six, seven, eight. She had a good plan. Do, of course. Just one stray match, man. Protect the forest. Poof. Was it... Yeah, that is a new radio. Of course, makes total sense. Was I talking in the last part or two parts ago about books and how maybe I should pay more attention to these things? Three blind rats. Rit Always the Richard Sturgeon, man. FBI in Informants, we need protection with the police. Boppity bop. Yeah, there's a lot of this crime stuff. Hmm. Anyway. I've got it now. Good. I spent all day getting you that radio. <laughs> I hiked to a cash box, lied to a ranger, lied to another ranger, and hopefully you are now holding a clean, untapped radio. Hopefully. Holy fuck, Henry, we have to get into that site. What the fuck is going on? People are listening to us? I don't know. Our radios are tapped? Are you fucking serious? Our radios are definitely tapped. That's why I left you the one you just got. How, how, how is this even possible? I don't know, Henry. What do you know? I know that I'm scared. None of it makes any sense. I just changed clothes laying on the floor because I don't know who could be watching. Am I just making all of this up? I mean, the eavesdropping, the spying, is this... Fuck, are you... Are you... Is any of this real? What? Are you serious? Maybe I'm, I'm just... Maybe I'm just losing my mind. 
What? With Julia. Maybe it's happening to me, and, and I'm imagining that I have a boss out here and that we're being spied on. Henry. Dude, there's one theory. Kind of probably a wild theory. Should I have chose that option? I think, I feel the wilder stuff, the, the crazier uh, responses, are always on the bottom. I don't know, it's not really a a Paragon Renegade thing all the time, like Mass Effect style, you know? Um, boop, boop. here we are. Hmm, line goes through. I think I can, Short, maybe a shortcut. Let's see, head a little uh, to the west, so that was behind me. Uh, excuse me, oh, God, ah, help! <laughs> I wonder if I can bust through somewhere. Now, I know it's not this way. I'm just kind of... Yeah, it was over that way. But it makes you wonder, though. Uh, and I've been kind of thinking a little about this. I don't think Delilah was too offended. She was just kind of like a little maybe shocked. And I don't know. We have bigger things to worry about. I don't think she's really... Yeah, yeah, this is a shortcut. I don't think she's really hung up on my uh, Henry's response. But... What if something, something else is going on here? Is this real? How real? Hey, uh, I just thought of something not, um, not great. What is it? I filed a report that said that neither of us ever talked to or saw those girls, the ones that went missing a few weeks back. What? Why would you do that? I told you to say the minimum and just keep it vague. I know. And I didn't. I, I, I just didn't want to be hassled. And now someone probably has a transcript of that entire conversation. And I've filed a report that's a blatant lie. Oh, and those girls are still missing. Yep. Fuck, Delilah. Fuck, indeed. We really need to get to the bottom of this. Yeah, I guess we've been out here, haven't we? Dude, Delilah, why didn't you report that? We didn't, we did nothing wrong. We could be like, I mean, yeah, we did, we, well, technically we did do something wrong by not reporting that, right, Delilah? But, I mean, it's not like we're killing people uh are we henry are you mm. it's not like we're doing anything wrong you know um but this yeah some things aren't looking good here okay now where am i i am down here i'm gonna break into the uh, wapiti meadow here so let's head north a little bit we'll go through that path i'm gonna go through the widow maker and uh you know through that up there to the gate Shouldn't take us too long. North. So yeah, we'll cut through. Go west a little. Cut through north more. Good stuff. And then maybe Delilah and Henry will talk along the way, of course. You really do get more familiar with the area. Uh, you know, it's nothing too crazy. Yeah, we, we saw this. We talked about it. What did they say, bear or like a cougar? Wasn't it like a, a cougar they were talking about? Maybe not like cougar, that word, but they, you know, some kind of big cat, rope hook. Yes, I, I believe. Yeah, here we are, Widowmaker. All right, guys, you ready? Let's repel. Yeah, this one's a big one, right? Woof, look at that. Nope. It's gonna kinda make you nervous in a way. Cause let's say you just let's say you just suddenly fall. That is not gonna be a good uh good ending. <laughs> oh man. Climbers falling, you know? Woof. 
this guy. I mean, this, you know, he's not like Mr. Climber guy. He's just going down a little bit of a rope. He's doing some repelling and stuff. And next thing you know, your line snaps or whatever. Knot comes out. I don't know. That's why I guess. Weren't they talking about knots or something? Some kind of gear. Yeah, we're going the right way. Yeah, through here. So while we have seen some animals, sometimes I kind of wish there were um, some more. What is that? Just, uh, yeah. Ah, mm. This kind of looks uh, like, you know, it sticks out more, kind of. Hmm. Have I gone this way before, though? Um, yeah, this leads to the, yeah, the lake. Right. And now we're gonna head up through here. Wasn't there a tree or something to cut down? I think there was a tree. We're gonna have to find that. Now that we have the ax, we can get through some areas. And since we're going to, see now I think I'm going the, the wrong way. Since we're going, oh wait, up here? Since we're going to a location that we haven't really been able to access. Yeah, there's going to be more of that tree stuff. I mean, we got the axe for a reason, guys, you know? And this could be... Yeah, here we go. Good stuff. So after you play this, guys, for several parts or whatever, um, you know, an hour or two, you learn the lay of the land pretty well. The whole map and compass system is fine. And, uh... You don't have to worry too much, if you are, about getting lost or something in this game, you know? It's not too, it's not complicated at all. It's not like stupid, it, it is what it needs to be. Oh, there it is. Gotta make a lot of noise. That, that is a thick, thick ass tree. Here, hop over. So we have not been here. I think. Whew, oh man. Okay. I'm getting, <laughs> I'm getting a little nervous. I, I am a little nerve wracked, man. Like this is kind of. There's the fire, the remains, the smoke. This is kind of nerve-wracking. This game is a little more nerve-wracking than I thought it would be. Wait. We don't want to... Hold on, where did I come from? Oop, oop, oop. That'll lead us, like, around in a circle here. Okay, we chopped the tree down. Okay. Now, let's see. There's nothing there. Do I jump down there again? There's nowhere else to go right here. Let's jump down. Maybe this is just another way of getting us around here. Yeah, and the gate should be... coming up right in front of us. Ugh. Anyone have allergies? I got some of that. Like ragweed, pollen, that kind of stuff. Spring sucks for me. And I'm not like, I'm not that, like, oh, it's not that horrible. I don't have to be hospitalized, man, but you know, a lot of people have just, you know, a little bit of the allergy stuff going on. Um, oh no. Okay, now let's see. And then there's a way to cut over to the other side. How was that again? I'm trying to remember. Let me look this way and check the map out one more time. Yeah, see that kind of... Look at the red line. And there's like that fork in the road kind of deal. I need to like figure that out. So I need to go back and... I don't know, find the right path. Ugh, excuse me. Hmm... 
pretty sure, yeah, I knew I wasn't supposed to jump down. <sighs> Let's see. Going down, man. So around here. Hmm. Yeah, come on. Wait. Hold on. Let's hop over. Is there a path right... Right here? Ugh, come on. No. Dude, I'm so close. I was just talking about how it's, you know, everything's so easy and you can navigate and, you know, it's no big deal and all that. And now for the, like, kind of the first time, we're getting stumped. You know what? Why can't I just walk around to the left over there? I should just keep, I need it to keep going, uh, keep going on. I only came up here once, remember? I don't know, I just don't recall, I guess. So let's see. Oh, here, here we go. Yeah, drop down here. I'm going back. Oh. Too bad I am not calling it a wrap right now. It's just not that time, man. Whoa. I can hear the ducks, but I can't see them. It's really bugging the hell out of me. <laughs> this is a little, an awkward little spot here on our map. We'll eventually get it. What do you guys think so far? I am totally digging this game. You know, I'm digging it in ways I didn't even think I would. Yeah, this is not the right side to be on. I know that. Can this guy work out? Head up here. You know what? I don't think it has anything to do with this tree, actually. Maybe we, we leave this way. Hmm. I think I need to go around here. Okay, wait a minute. There's probably a, a jump, a drop. Yeah, on this side. Here we go. Maybe a no oh here here it is wow that was that was just kind of awkward for me I don't know why that was just so weird that was that was a little strange I don't know if that doesn't feel right to me how I got around there oh well whatever I'm here I'm busting the gate down there's nobody around and it's the quickest way in. Copy that. <sighs> Smashed open the gate. Should I try to fix or hide this? No, screw it. Okay, then. <sighs> okay. Man. Crazy. Investigate the Wapiti Meadow. Whoa! Ow! I got stung by a bee. Okay. Is is that it? Yeah. Did it did it hurt? Yes, kind of. O okay, I'm I'm sorry. Uh -huh. Unusual conversation between these two right here. Dude, 
we are in unexplored territory by like no one, no one that we that we know of. This is really freaky, dude. This is pretty cool. Let's see. Look at the map. Yeah, up through that way. I'm gonna check this nook back here real quick. Okay. Whew, let's do it. Once again, you see how like even the the types of trees kind of change up. The landscape, it, it's always changing throughout the parts of the, the map, the terrain that we are able to explore. It always, you know, the change ups make it interesting. Variety. Whoa. Some crazy equipment here. Okay, I'm at the site. I don't see anybody around. Lucky for us. Yeah, lucky for us. The, there is some serious comms equipment out here. Wireless stuff. What do you mean? I'm talking a big 20-foot tall transmission tower. And they can probably listen to whoever the hell they want. They're nestled down in this valley, which makes it impossible for you or any lookout to see them. Yeah, they're like hidden, I guess, huh? Do anything with this? We should turn it off. Yeah, man, let's let's do a little sabotage of our own and screw with them, dude. You know? There's definitely some monitoring. That's for sure. Wait, there's more. More monitoring, uh, monitoring uh, equipment. I don't, know, I don't know what all this is doing. Experiments, dude. They are hidden. How did they get all this stuff in here? Oh yeah, base camp. What is this? Someone in that tent? Dude, we found the base camp. This is it. There's all sorts of contraptions and shit out here. Like what? Dishes and stuff on metal legs. There are wires all over the place. I don't know. I'm not really up on high tech. What the hell? Why is this stuff beeping? This equipment is not stuff from the hardware store. Why don't we just bust this stuff up, man? Is there an on-off switch? Just switch it off. You don't even have to bust it up, you know? Now they're doing something with the soil out here, too. It's all gridded off. Hey, maybe you were right about the lichens. <laughs> the lichens. Wait a minute. Is that Delilah's tower? Yeah, completely hidden. I mean, <laughs> those two trees, and she can't see all of this stuff? Dude, I don't know, something. She's got like crazy binoculars or whatever. She could see this place. She can see the fence. She could see something. I don't know if it's just me, man. Paranoia is getting a little crazy, but I'm starting to trust Delilah. A little less, but let's just see how we'll work this into our story, into my playthrough here, you know? Ladder. We should take that with us. Okay, I'm gonna... I'm gonna go inside. Oof. I'm in their main tent. What's it like? It's definitely some sort of monitoring station. Is <laughs> someone in there? Place sleeps three. They've got a row of cots here. So they live and work in the same tent? Yeah, it's all one operation. Huh, like us. Yeah, like us. Oh, I just I wonder where they are. All, all of their stuff is here. And they know you're there, so see what you can find and get out. I <laughs> say we take the food with us. Ooh, pasta sauce! My wife loves pasta sauce. Gotta have the pasta sauce on the pasta. 
oh, what is this thing called again? I I had one of these. Oh, it's called a, it's like a an old school Native American type of like water bottle kind of. I just I can't remember the name. You guys can always leave me a leave me a comment. Hmm. Stove. There's a lot of stuff in here, and I want to get to all of it, of course. So, you know, I'm searching around for clickies. Hmm. And we'll get to that. Sturdy leather belt. Fire equipment, incident inspection checklist. Uh, I don't know if we're going to be reading all this stuff. You can't really make it out, you know. I don't think we're meant to. Camp stove. Uh, nothing's written down too bad. I mean, go through the notepads. Go through everything. That's what I would be doing. Rags! Thermos. Basic stuff. I found their main monitoring desk. Oh my god, what do you see? Seriously, at this stage, I'd believe just about anything. I mean, this stuff looks like it just got lifted out of the space shuttle. I have to tell you, if I found out this was NASA, I'd be a hell of a lot happier. Okay. Shit. Got a map here that confirms they're tracking my... our people's movements the map's got all sorts of paths and areas marked off on it there are lines that look like some of the paths I normally take are you positive it's you? I'm not sure but I think so okay so there's a log here that tracks the movement of four distinct subjects you and me? uh yeah definitely me and I suppose you too what about the other two? Maybe the Goodwins? What if they were following them last summer? God, Henry, I don't know. If they were, there's no way Brian knew. He would have said something. Yeah, I can't imagine a kid like that could have kept this under his hat. We'll talk this over and figure out how to get the hell out of here. Try to examine this a little better. It's too too much of a close-up. Well, let's keep it, of course. You always got to keep everything. Junk! Cool. Mess. Desk in here is a mess. I mean, it's, it's like someone was in a rush or knocked a bunch of stuff over on accident. You... Oh. You love Wyoming, right? Cool. There's a box here with a dial. It has a needle, like it measures earthquakes. You mean like a lie detector? Yeah, I'm not sticking around to get hooked up to it. Fill generator. Hmm. There's definitely... Why would there be a lie detector? Transceiver. There's... Some sort of monitor. I don't know what it does. Maybe air quality or something? Maybe they're keeping data on everything that could impact our moods. That looks possible. This is crazy. Okay, guys. I think I've checked out everything. Well, except for what's behind me, I know. They're measuring the barometric pressure, too. Why? Maybe it's just a diversion. Something about earthquakes going on here? I, I'm i more curious about this lie detector. Have there been interrogations? Okay, I'm scanning this desk area now for anything left that I have not talked to, you know, Delilah about. You know, a little back and forth and whatnot. I think we're, we're good, but, I mean, obviously that, yeah, it's blinking. The red light coming out of it, emitting from the crack in the box or whatever. That's got to be something crazy. Some kind of device. Information, maybe? How many people are out here? There's definitely one. 
There is definitely one. Okay, guys, you ready? Here we go. It's a wave receiver. I think I found the thing they used to track us. Holy shit. You know, you swear, like, a lot. Not the time, Hank. Anyway, it's called a wave receiver. Looks like it picks up anything that emits a signal. It's got basic orienteering capabilities, everything. Holy... Holy shit, Henry. Yeah, holy shit. You're gonna take it, right? Yeah, of course. So, oh, and look at that, southwest, south, southeast, east. Oh, dude, what's with the blinking? Follow the beeping device. Uh, okay, this thing is losing its mind, beeping like crazy. I can hear it. What's it after? I don't know. I'm gonna go find out. It was beeping crazy in here. What? What is it? What is that? It's a black box. Are you shitting me? What? What is it? There's a folder of reports here. What do they say? Their assessments about the two of us. There's stuff in here about Julia. Like what? Stuff I didn't tell you. This is... What, what does it say about me? You said there was one about me. And it looks like they've been following me around. What I do when I'm out hiking? Jesus. Henry, do you hear me? It says that you, you and your boyfriend are still together. What? We're not. They're messing with us. Yeah, okay. They are. How do they even know who he is? How the hell does this... I'm so sick of letting these people do this to us. We should just burn the place down. Think about it. Worst case scenario... Uh... Delilah. What? Think about it. I am, and I think it's insane. They'd be fucked. Yeah, and how about if that fire comes up the mountain, or someone were to die in it? We call it in? We call it in? Yeah, maybe. My god, Delilah, no. No way. Well, maybe it's not the best idea. Yeah, it's definitely not the best idea. Ah, uh, so fucking wound up! It's alright, I'm just gonna hike back. We have the wave receiver, and tomorrow we can figure out what to do. Head back to Two Forks Lookout. Dude, this is messed up. It's like they're guinea pigs, and I'm starting to not know who I can trust anymore. And either Delilah's just going crazy, or she might be in on it. I still think she could see this place down here. I mean, come on, it's right there. Is this, or is this all in his head? I think this is the part of the game where our minds are supposed to be spinning like crazy, and we're supposed to be feeling exposed and paranoid and not knowing what the hell to do or think or... Huh? I don't know. Wait a minute. Evidence. Do we need to take some evidence? So, so what do you guys think? What are your theories? What are your comments? Oh man, I ran away. Far and fast, I gotta come all the way back. A soil grid, like what the hell? Oh look, I'm using that thing now, that's funny. Okay, we gotta get, we gotta get the hell out of here, man. This is crazy. I am fearful. Well, I don't think there's a time limit. I could stand here all day, go out, do some grocery shopping, do, yeah, I don't know, pay the bills, mow the lawn, paint the house, and come back in and you'll still hear this music, which is very effective, by the way. <laughs> we gotta get out of here, man. Where the hell, 
Here we go. Let's go. There's smoke coming from the site. I just climbed out of there and the bridge collapsed. What the hell happened to you? It's definitely not the best idea. It wasn't me. <sighs> what do we do? We just call it in like any other fire. And what about who started it? What about them? Uh, the person who started it? Yeah. We're talking about people watching us out here who are now burning the forest and everything in it around us. I, I, I don't know what to do about that. Except get the hell out. Yes, get us the hell out of here. I will. Day 77. Oh man, the goosebumps, the goosebumps are back. The shit is about to hit the fan. The shit has hit the fan. Actually, I believe the third batch of shit is on its way towards the fan and about to make contact with it. I don't know what, I don't know what to think. I don't know who to believe. This is nuts. Looks like the wave receiver is making beeps again. Well, guys, before I check out what it's beeping at and what we're going to do next, I believe I'm going to call it a wrap right here. Dude, there's a fire. I'm going to call it a wrap right here. Things are getting very intense. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Of course, some of those comments. Tell me what you think. Like always, everyone, you can follow me on my social media pages, including my Patreon. The links are in the video description below. I'm Dave the Usher for the Game Replay. Stay tuned for the next part of Firewatch. I'll see you guys next time. I am out.